Uh, thanks for the invitation to speak to you about campus ministry here at King's. Uh, my name is Janet Liu. I am a campus minister and have been at working at King's as a campus minister for about, uh, this is year 14, believe it or not. So um, I would uh, uh, welcome any questions after this presentation is, is done. Um, yeah, so let's get rolling right away. I'm going to uh, share my screen with you. Bear with me for a moment. So what do you normally think of when you hear the words campus ministry? Likely has something a little bit to do with religion or faith life. And, and yes, you would expect that at a, a Catholic university, but you don't necessarily need to be Catholic to engage in our programming. Although we do engage in, in programming that is very specific for people who want to foster their faith. But I hope by the end of this presentation, um, you'll discover that it is our, our mission and our activities are far more broader than you would expect. So we are here to um, create a safe environment where you could explore all sorts of life's bigger questions, um, not only to do with, with faith, but life in general, um, your, your life's mission, um, and to explore ways to um, to share your gifts with the world, to uh, to better the world. So that's what we try to find in common when we try to support students and faculty and staff here at King's. We try to create community together. We try to create a place of welcome. And you'll soon discover that as soon as you walk onto the campus and meet us. So um, as I said, we uh, support people of all sorts of uh, diverse faith backgrounds and traditions or no faith tradition at all. Uh, we are here to accompany you and we are here to support you. And uh, through this presentation, I hope that uh, you'll get a sense of what it is that we do and who we are as we uh, try to engage with the King's community in this way. So as I said, you'll see us pop in right throughout the year. Um, you'll you'll see us in our, our shirts um, and uh, um, we, we love, love to connect with community right from the first day when you move in. If you live in residence or you're off campus, you'll see us on move-in day to make you feel welcome, uh, to make your, your family feel welcome on campus as well. Um, we love engaging with community through um, all sorts of activities, um, such as uh, we did for the first time this year, for example, a tie-dye event. We uh, made these t-shirts you'll see in the bottom right corner that says hate has no home here so that is certainly the message that we want to reach out to our king's community and beyond the king's community uh, we have a little bit of help from our uh, also part of our chaplaincy team in the top left is scout our chaplaincy dog so um, she is there at a lot of our our big events and uh, and uh, happy to accompany us as well and uh, uh, she's become a very, very popular part of the King's community as well. So um, we're out there beyond campus as well. Uh, this is one of many examples uh, through the interfaith tree planting event. It's a, a beautiful witness of, of community together when people work together for the common good and in this case for the environmental good. Um, every year we have our annual student retreat, so you'll see um, shown in these photos some scenes from actually our recently concluded annual uh, retreat just uh, from a couple weeks ago. So it's an opportunity for students to connect together uh, and to have a, a, a time and place to really unplug and to really have a chance to reflect as well. So, um, so if you ever find yourself uh, engaged with us, you would, this is a very, very um, uh, beautiful activity to partake in. Uh, we have all sorts of activities uh, that engage with the Catholic intellectual tradition. In this case, we have a lecture series that we have every year called the Veritas Series for Faith and Culture, where we invite all sorts of scholars and artists, um, some from all over the world, to uh, to give lectures and to engage with our community in discussion about various issues where faith intersects culture. So this is our uh, speaker lineup for this year. If you want more information, please feel free to go to the website. So just to give you a little idea, we, we touch upon um, oftentimes environmental issues, issues um, dealing with the indigenous community, issues with uh, this year, women in the church, for example. So all sorts of ways to 
like I said, engage in a very intellectual way as well. Um, here at Campus Ministry, uh, we love to think that we are also a partner, you know, in, in your whole education of the person, not only what you learn in the classroom, but also um, what you learn outside the classroom too, and engaging with your intellect and faith life and all this intersects together. So this is one wonderful way that this happens. Um, this is uh, Carpe Diem. Uh, it's, again, some of these pictures you'll see, uh, this is pre-pandemic, of course. We um, have a, a leadership conference for high school students. And um, so we deal, we, uh, uh, it's great. It's, it's, it lasts for a couple of days, usually in the spring. Of course, because of COVID, we haven't had this um, in person in a couple of years, but hopefully soon. Uh, this is one of uh, ways, again, we uh, engage with the intellect as well. Um, we have virtual student, uh, virtual student Bible study uh, that's been happening during the pandemic. So it's a, a wonderful way also to connect with other students, to learn more about faith and to learn more about scripture as well. Uh, yes, so we offer uh, all sorts of um, activities dealing with worship, uh, so and liturgy and prayer. Um, we we aim to to um, to model a, a, a prayer life as well. So we um, have again. This is pre-pandemic. It's funny how I have to like uh, um, have a, a preface here, but uh, you'll see that the, this is what the chapel looks like when it's fully crowded and we're not in a pandemic. Uh, this is the chapel at Windermere on the Mount. This is where we worship on Sundays. Um, and right now we have mass at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 5 p.m. And 5 p.m. mass, you'll like to know if you're, um, as a prospective student, this is where a lot of students will, will particularly go to, and you'll understand why in just a moment. Um, this is about a 15-minute walk, more or less, from King's Campus. Uh, it's a beautiful chapel. Uh, this was once part of the convent of the Sisters of St. Joseph, but we are so lucky and, pro you know, to, and honored to still be able to use the chapel there. So um, that is the chapel. This is chapel during pandemic uh, as, as recently as September, 2021. So you'll see that we've taken all sorts of um, health and safety measures to keep people socially distant and we're masked and, um, but it's, uh, we're happy to be able to still continue in this way, so. This is the small, much, much smaller chapel on campus. Uh, this is called Christ the King Chapel. This is in Wemple building on, in, on the first floor. Um, it is a place where we have weekday mass. So this year we offer weekday mass at Wednesdays and Fridays at noon. Um, and uh, it's, you'll notice that there, will, there are no locks on the door, meaning you're welcome at any time when the building's open. You can come in for a quiet moment if you want a time of reflection. And by the way, we do have other reflection spaces at King's as well. There is a reflection room, uh, multi-faith reflection room that is located on the second floor of the Student Life Center. And recently we have an outdoor reflection circle uh, on, the, on the green of, of King's campus. So um, as well, we do, as I mentioned before, have a diverse uh, variety of, of, of people at our, on our com campus community. So um, we have a number of people from the Muslim community. So we do have Muslim prayer rooms that are in Wemple building as well. I thought I should mention that. Uh, as I mentioned, we, we, um, we minister to a wide variety of people. As I mentioned, the after the 5 p.m. Mass, we have a community meal, and it's a great way for students to engage with, e with each other and with our parish community as well. So when I say parish community, there are people from outside of Kings who join us as well. Um, all these pictures are from uh, pre-pandemic when we weren't um, concerned with social distancing and we didn't even know the term. Um, but uh, it's, yeah, so you, you come to Mass and you stay for a community meal after that. And during the pandemic, we've been doing our best to carry on with this, but out, outdoors where it's, a, it's safer. So we've, we've had a little barbecue grill there to, to serve supper during the warmer months. Um, so, and people are scattered quite nicely on the, uh, the, the little grassy area. This is up at the Mount, by the way. So, um, so community meals still carry on as best we can in our creative ways. 
Um, if you want to engage in liturgical ministries, if you've always wanted to read at mass or serve at mass, or um, well, we're limited right now actually in during COVID to to lecturing. Um, but uh, hopefully as, as restrictions lift and, and the rules change a bit, um, let's put it this way, pre-pandemic, we, uh, we, we, we uh, welcome people who are interested in, in reading at mass, serving at mass, uh, distributing communion or singing in the choir. So choir is suspended at the moment as well. So uh, at least the, the parish choir. Um, there is another choir that's engaged right now. We've just restarted King's Chamber Choir. Um, I happen to be involved with that. I'm uh, the, the director of um, all th uh, well, three choirs. We have one chamber choir, which is a performance choir, but we also have two parish choirs that help lead music at Sunday Mass. So um, so we, we are doing this, of, of course, this is pre-pandemic. Uh, we are singing sp spaced apart and with masks on. So um, it makes a bit of a challenge, but grateful that after 18 months of not having any um, singing activity at all, that we're gradually coming back a bit. Uh, this is Teze Ecumenical Prayer, which has been suspended during the, uh, the pandemic, but uh, this is a prayer that engages, not, it's not only Catholic, but it's a Christian ecumenical prayer. It's a very beautiful meditative prayer with chant. And uh, um, we're hoping to um, renew this uh, once restrictions lift. We do have hospitality, hospitality center outreach. Uh, we have uh, a number of volunteer opportunities. I know um, students out there are, are always interested in, in understanding how to uh, volunteer into the community, give their time, share their gifts. Well, this is a great way to do it. Um, again, I'm showing you scenes from before uh, the pandemic. Um, we are at uh, St. Joseph's Hospitality Center in the east end of the city. Um, and people there, we uh, offer a place of welcome twice a month where we um, uh, partake in, in snacks, coffee, tea, um, mostly a ministry of presence to, to really show our, our, our presence of love and hope. And uh, oftentimes, you never know who's going to show up and bring an instrument. So there's, there's always music in the background as well. Um, during the pandemic, we've been um, preparing bagged lunches to distribute to people as they as they come to the hospitality center, again, due to COVID-19 health and safety restrictions. So um, if uh, so, we welcome volunteers, but to engage in a different way, in this case, to assemble the lunches and to distribute the lunches. And um, and also we welcome food donations from all over the community, whether from the parish community or King's community, they always come through. In, in serving our community in this way in, uh, in London. So um, this might be something that you might be interested in doing if you're a student here. Uh, tied in with that, every Christmas we have what's called Step Into Christmas Project, uh, where people from all over our communities, um, particularly in Kings and our parish communities, uh, put these shoe box gifts together of, of um, warm, you know, you can see in the bottom right corner, uh, warm winter accessories, um, toiletries, things that people might need, um, and uh, even even snacks as well. So uh, just a, a gift to to give someone, you know, during the Christmas season. Um, in a lot of cases, this is the only gift some people get. And so it's, um, it's a wonderful way to really to really engage with uh, the people who to whom we minister at the hospitality center. So we uh, engage in this activity before Christmas and it's a wonderful way. You can see in these pictures, all sorts of students that are helping uh, uh, put together the gifts and to wrap the gifts and to deliver the gifts as well. So um, this is another way that would be a great way to volunteer. Um, we have a number of social justice activities. Um, maybe perhaps some of you are are really directly involved with it. Maybe you're interested in the social justice and peace program, but you don't have to necessarily. Um, I, I, I put that out there as an example um, of a, a way to really enhance what you're learning in the classroom. Um, this is um, engaging in the work of, of uh, advocacy for issues uh, in the of our sisters and brothers in the global south. And, and um, so it's whether it's awareness campaigns or raising funds or awareness, um, this might be a place where you could engage as a student as well. So development piece, I'll show you a couple of slides here, again, pre-pandemic. 
We also have supported refugees. Uh, this is a, a family we've supported from Syria. We've supported, I think, at least 21 um, refugees in the past few years. Um, and there are a few, there's some more to come that we support in not only financially, but also uh, to help them in, in very practical means as well, from learning language to um, getting them to uh, where they need to go for appointments uh, to all sorts of ways. There are numerous ways that we can assist and volunteer as well. So um, this, is, this is something else we're engaged in. Um, this is a big shift now where uh, there's children's programming. Uh, why do you think, uh, why would you think children's program? Well, it's, as I mentioned, we have a parish community at, um, that is linked to campus ministry. And so um, there are a lot of young families, many alumni who um, bring their children to mass and we engage with them um, with our Sunday programming, but there's so much more. There's, there's parents and babies group. There's, um, I'm sure I'm missing a few, but, and, and youth group as well. So um, if, for example, if you are in, interested in education, particularly in the Catholic Studies for Teachers program, a fantastic way to get connected with us in this way, because um, you could uh, in, you can volunteer to teach some sessions in the children's programming, for example, or in sacramental preparation. So um, I put it out there for anybody who's interested in that, and um, that is children's program. Connected with that is a London Interfaith Peace Camp that we um, collaborate with uh, for a past number of years. The Kings has hosted the London, Faith Inter London Interfaith Peace Camp where um, children of, the, of um, Christian, Jewish, and Muslim faiths come together to learn about each other's faith and to, um, to learn how we work together and live together. Um, it's a beautiful model of living and that we model from a very young age. So, um, and there are volunteer opportunities this way as well. If you're here for the summer, that's a get in touch with the person who's in charge of, uh, of, of youth ministry, uh, Maya. I'll introduce all of the team at the end of this presentation, but uh, that's, that's a wonderful way to get involved as well. Uh, this is a picture depicting um, uh, pastoral counseling, which we offer. Uh, while we also at Kings, we do have uh, at at uh, stu student services, we we do have of counseling. This is also counseling as well with a spiritual dimension, if you will, about you know um, someone to listen in a very non-judgmental way uh, about questions you have and and where 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 well dealing well as i said at the beginning of the presentation the, dealing with some of the bigger questions of life right and someone to journey along with you we have a wonderful uh, pastoral counselor who happens also to be the director of campus ministry jim pancho and um so um, this is something that we offer as well and we are also involved with the canadian catholic students association um engaging with them and in fact we are hosting um the Central Region Conference this January, and uh, it's it's a wonderful way to connect with other Catholic students from other uh, campuses right across Canada. Uh, for the past year and a bit, I've, we've been uh, connecting virtually, so we're going to cross our fingers and hopefully we'll have an in-person conference this year. So um, this is another dimension of how we're connected in the grand scheme of things. And Actually, I'm going to skip. I think one of my slides is just out of order. Before I take questions, this I just wanted to introduce the team to you. So um, Jim Pancho is our director of uh, campus ministry, but also he's the pastoral counselor. Uh, Lisa Cairo is our administrative assistant, keeping things all organized and together for us. Um, and there's me, campus minister, uh, specializing particularly in liturgy and music. So that's that's what I'm usually engaged in. My uh, colleague Annette Donovan Pancho is a campus minister who engages with um, liturgical, all things liturgical as well, and social justice. And she runs the um, the virtual student um, Bible study, among many other things. But so social justice and outreach as well. Uh, Father Paul Kim is new to us. He is the priest chaplain 
uh, and he um, is is there to not only for the sacramental bits of uh, or also to to lead our 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 mass on Sundays and during the weekdays, but he's there as as a listening ear as well throughout the, the week and um, and uh, he's um, a wonderful addition to our team. Um, and Maya Wilson, who you saw in a previous slide, is the uh, her ministry is is to to youth and families, but beyond that as well. She's engaged with uh, the student council as well, and. Um, yeah, so this is this is the team and this is probably one of the biggest probably one of the largest uh, teams uh, for campus ministry in all of Canada, certainly the most robust uh, programming and we engage in a full year uh, parish um, university parish as well, so. That is the team i'm going to go back to the previous slide and engage in any questions that you might have. <laughs> 